I think. So if you don't mind, I'm sorry about the diagnosis, but I'm very honored that you will, you're willing to share your story because I think you'll inform a lot of people in a way that will change their, perhaps their lives today. What are we looking at there? This is a sonogram of my left breast. I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And I must say, it's, it's to me, never dawned on the, I mean, the possibility that it could be linked to a cell phone. How the doctors connect the dots and begin to think that cell phones might actually be causing cancers like this. Well, I kept my cell phone in my bra for four years, and the tumors were right where I kept my cell phone. They lined up. And why four years ago had you started carrying your cell phone in your bra? All my friends were doing it, um, and if I did, was wearing pants without je or without pockets, mm -hmm. I would just easily put it right in my bra. It was easily, you could hear it easily, feel it if it vibrated. Show me exactly how you place the, the phone. Okay. I would place it right in there, just like that. Like if I don't mind, so it's just on the outside portion of your left breast? Mm -hmm. Yep. Is that where the cancer was? That's exactly where the cancer was. It lined up perfectly. Did it, did it ever dawn on you that that pretty innocuous act could be linked to this? Not at all. My mom would warn me. Um, she would tell me that my phone hanging on my bra or out of my shirt wasn't attractive and it's probably not good, but I never listened to her. <laughs> I have daughters too, so I know what that feels like. But let me just show this animation, what she had been thinking, maybe what was being processed in her mind. And, I think this might elucidate what's going on here. So come over and let's look at this animation of what, in this case, left-sided breast lesion might have to occur. Now, if you take away the bra and the skin, under it, there are these, these mammary glands, these round glands, and these are the ducts. The ducts are actually where the problems are most of the time. If you go into the duct and look at the cells that line the duct that carry the milk from the glands to the nipple, where they, obviously the baby would need them, when you get cancers in here, these ductal cancers grow rapidly. They're sociopathic. They don't get along. They invade surrounding breast tissue as they get larger, and they take over larger and larger amounts of the breast before sometimes spreading to other areas. So it's not just the largeness of the tissue. It's the ability of the cells to escape and to metastasize. That's why things like this bother me. Now, Tiffany's mom, Tracy, is joining us. Let me introduce you to the rest of the, to the family. Tracy, you were one of the first to make this link. What, what, what happened? How could you even begun to connect those two processes? Well, once we got over the shock of her breast cancer, we wanted to get, uh, we needed to get answers. Um, we knew um, that she was young and healthy. She had no family history. And she was, um, went through genetic testing, so we had no, she had no um, breast cancer genes. And since the tumors laid right under where she stored her phone in her bra, my husband and I came to the conclusion that that is probably the cause of her cancer. You're also finding, I understand, that your daughter's not alone. No. I've been contacted by at least a half dozen women throughout the U.S. that have also mentioned they've stored their, their phone in their bra, and now they have been diagnosed with breast cancer. And you probably have gotten some pushback. Doctors don't link cell phone usage like this to breast cancer. What's your response to that? Um, yeah, we've met some resistance from many doctors. Um, and I don't take that lately. Um, my objective now is to um, collect the data necessary in order to validate the possible link between cell phones and breast cancer. You're a very wise mother. Thank you for sharing your story. Let me introduce you now to cancer surgeon John West. He's concerned as well. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. What is the red flag to you? This is a, a fundamentally important observation. It, it truly is, and, and it kind of evolved over time. The first case was a 39-year-old who was getting into the breast cancer age. So it wasn't a major red flag, but what was amazing about her, she was certain that the cell phone caused her cancer. Rather than just having a single cancer that we typically see in the breast, she had multiple cancers throughout the distribution that corresponded basically to the cell phone. So I uh, presented the case to a large conference of uh, breast cancer surgeons. I got laughed off the stage. I mean, they just said that's impossible. There's not enough energy in the cell phone, and you're just, you know, you're out, you're out of line. Well, we had a second case very shortly, and then a third case, and Tracy tracked me down and said, my daughter was 21. Now, this is getting serious. So the real turning point, I was in my office about six months ago, 
uh, on the computer and three of the technicians walked in and said, we got another 21 year old with breast cancer and she wears a cell phone. I went over to look at the films and I was, my heart dropped. I, I must say I was unswayed until I saw this image and heard about these other cases. Now, even if you're not a breast surgeon, you probably observe that there's some areas that look a little bit whiter. Go ahead and point out to folks, where was she, Where did she put her cell phone? Oh, she put it right on the, uh, out, th this is on the outside of her bra. So the breast was actually harnessing a cell phone right there. Right, directly over it. So how common is it for a woman without a family history, without other risk factors, who's basically young and healthy, as we learned of, without genes that would have warned us of this? How common is it for those women to get breast cancer? I've been doing this uh, 40 years. I've personally treated over 10,000 cases of breast cancer. I've seen three cases under 30. So these are, are four very distinctly unusual cases in my mind. Now, my colleagues, when I, when I talk to them, they, well, you know, you're, you're, you're overstating the case here. It's not exactly as you say it. And they, you know what? They're never crystal clear. But the problem is, is this the tip of the iceberg? This is what has me fight, and I'm particularly worried about high school girls because the young developing breast is particularly vulnerable. We know that from chest x-ray studies where these young girls exposed to chest x-rays as, as teens had a higher incidence of breast cancer. So there's a major concern that there's a, millions of women that are actually at risk, generations. So the big question, the big question, should women, all women, consider cell phones to be a risk factor for breast cancer? I think any woman who puts the cell phone on direct contact with her breast is playing with fire. The older the patient, the less time she has it exposed, probably the less risk. But for the very young woman, particularly these teenage girls, you know, it's cool for them to stuff their cell phone in their bra. They're kind of at a rebellious age. It's very hard to get to them. It's hard for us to get data because there's such privacy issues. But we won't find out about them for, for decades. And so right now, I would I think that the cell phone should never be placed on the breast at any time, but particularly not for the young age group. So cell phone makers say there's no evidence that phones can cause cancer, but all makers, listen carefully, all makers say that you should limit contact of the body with the cell phone. You should keep the cell phone at least a half an inch from the skin. That's what they actually recommend. Some are going further, arguing it shouldn't be close to, to the skin anywhere. So what's my bottom line? It is very simple. You worry about who your daughter is talking to, but you also need to be worried about where they're keeping their cell phone. For everyone, I want you to take the phone out of your bra and don't put it back. And today we're starting a movement called the No Phone Zone. Now, if you have a creative place that you store your cell phone that's not in your body, so have a photo of it, send it to me on Twitter, Instagram, hashtag on cell phone, and I'm going to feature my favorites on DrOz.com. We'll be right back. Viral Health Videos.